morning. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Christ child be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first letter of St. John. <clears throat> Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth <clears throat> is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him or to walk just as he walked. <clears throat> Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard, and yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. God. Responsorial Psalm. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens, splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. 
Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, the parents of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword shall, will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. awaiting the consolation of Israel. There goes young Simeon up to the Temple Mount again, a bystander comments. Every day he prays for the Messiah and the rescue of Israel, another replies. He has youthful zeal, but we'll see how long that lasts. Years pass along with Simeon's youth how many questions must have crossed his mind and, and crept into his heart? No doubt he prayed Psalm 77. Has God's promise come to an end? But Simeon did not give in to doubt. Even more, he didn't stop persisting in prayer in the place where he had heard God's promise that he should not see death before he had seen the Messiah. And finally the day arrived. And what did the old man see? Did the Lord's anointed advance on Jerusalem in splendor at the head of a mighty army? Far from it. Simeon saw a young family, easy to overlook as they picked their way th through the crowds. How did he know? How did he know? Simeon, familiar with God's voice after these long years of prayer, heard the Holy Spirit. This is the one. This is the one. Simeon's faithfulness and perseverance in prayer can be a model for us. We can't miss out on that. For most of his life, it seemed that his prayers were not answered. Yet he returned to the temple day after day after day. In fact, God was working in him, strengthening him, and teaching him to recognize the voice of the Spirit. You know, truth be told, sometimes we can be waiting for long stretches before we experience a consolation of some kind. It can be difficult to keep waiting and, and trusting when that happens. And that's when we can look to Simeon for a model. That's when we can look to Simeon's example of showing up faithfully day in, day out, 
whether we see God answering our prayers or not. Like Simeon, we can trust that God is at work in quiet ways, in the small, small but powerful workings of grace. And over time, we will become more open to the Holy Spirit, better able to receive his gifts and act upon his promptings. Even when things seem impossible, when God seems absent, prayer is a gift from God. There he opens us up to hear the Holy Spirit and teaches us to recognize his work in the world around us just as Simeon recognized the Christ in a tiny baby. Holy Spirit, help us to persist in prayer and learn to hear your voice. Amen. Amen. Trusting in the Lord's goodness, let us turn to him with our prayers and petitions. For the church throughout the world, may the love of Christ continue to transform us into his likeness. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who govern nations, may the Spirit bless them with wisdom and right judgment in their efforts to protect the sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are lonely, may the Lord console and lift their spirits. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may the grace of the sacraments transform us and deepen our commitment to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they soon be welcomed at the eternal banquet by our Lord and all the angels and saints. At this Mass, we especially remember Cecilia Doyle. Let us pray to the Lord. And for our own intentions, which we now mention in silence. Through the intercession of Our Lady, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Yes, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, and will become our spiritual drink. Please pray with me that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wonderful, wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, 
holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Father, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Have a great day.
So here.